Show me now. Charlemagne the God. Charlemagne. What's happening, sir? I've been trying to get you on here for years. Well, I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm happy that you are here. Yeah, I ducked a couple other shows just to make sure <laughs> that I get to you first. You know, you know we talk offline uh, sometimes, and I, I have to tell you, I really admire what you do. I admire your candor. I, you don't care. You say it however you feel. Whatever you mean, you say it, and you stand by it, and I appreciate that. Thank you. I don't trust either one of them. They all come on to talk to you. What is the difference on your show when they, than other interviews, you think? Um, I think that they know that they can come to us and be a little bit more loose. But I actually think that they were coming to our show because they thought that they could just get over on the black and brown audience. Like, they didn't think that, you know, we, we were as prepared as, 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 we, as we are when they come to the show. So I think that they thought they could just come in there and just, you know, do their usual political rhetoric spiel, their scripted talking points, and, you know, hey, on to the next thing. But I think that... um. I think, I think the jig is up on that. I think they know they got to come and be prepared. He needs professional supervision. Some of the issues, because the candidates come on your show, they open up about all types of things. Watch this. Have you ever smoked? I have. Okay. Like and I, and I inhaled. I did, 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 did inhale. inhale. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs> but and I'm helping him realize it. Like I can't believe that's news. Like that's the headlines. That's what people care about. <laughs> Even if I was listening to what you said, it doesn't matter. Old white male entitlement mentality. Do you think that, of privilege? Do you think that they're that some people are too old to run? I don't think people are too old, but I think that you can have old ideas, mm. you know. And I think that you got to be willing to 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 learn new things, you know. Really, you got to be willing to unlearn, you know. Like so, it's like we know what it is. Like why do we ask these questions when we know the answers? Shut up. Senator Kamala Harris is great. You know. Have you ever smoked? I have. Okay. Like and I, and I inhaled. Did I, did in, I did, did inhale. inhale. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs> but I thought we were looking for the truth. This is the first time that these Democrats have had to present a black agenda. I think that Demo black people have been so loyal to Democrats for so long for no reason. We haven't asked for anything. But now this year we're saying, what is your black agenda? And they're creating one. Why do you think this president and this administration gets away with so much, though? Old, white, male entitlement. Only an old, rich, white male can get away with the thing that Donald Trump is getting away with. Like, so it's like, we know what it is. Like, why do we ask these questions when we know the answers? I am not ready to do that. Hey, the people who say, well, listen, this is about um, beating Trump and someone, you know, I don't know, it's going to take someone who's like Trump to beat Trump. Code me, coded. So, so white male. So if you want somebody that's like Trump to beat Trump, then you're essentially saying you really don't have a problem with Trump. You just may not like Trump because Trump doesn't represent your particular party, maybe? Like, what does that even mean? Would you want a Donald Trump on the Democratic side? Would you really want somebody like Donald Trump as a Democrat? Because if you do, if you, if you're, if you say yes, then that means you really don't have a problem with Trump. You just have a problem with the fact that he's not representing your party. Like, so it's like, we know what it is. Like, why do we ask these questions when we know the answers? Oh, yeah. yeah. That is how his mind works. Let's say the nominee is not the person you want it to be. Mm -hmm. I don't know who I want it to be yet. You don't know. I, I, I think I want it to be Senator Kamala Harris. Have you ever smoked? I have. Okay. Like and I, and I inhaled. I did, in, I did, did inhale. inhale. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs> but That's a window into madness. Correct. Seems like the stage is being set for a woman of color president. When you see somebody as qualified as Senator Harris is, it's like, why wouldn't you want that? Why wouldn't you rally around that? Do you think America would vote for a gay man? Yes, absolutely do. To be president? 100%. Yes, I do. Like, so it's like, we know what it is. Like, why do we ask these questions when we know the answers? No, you being right means everyone else is wrong. You know, with Senator Harris, you can even you can at least point to what she did in California. You know, her being a prosecutor. Have you ever smoked? I have. Okay. Like and I or? and I inhaled. I did. Inhale. Inhale. I did inhale. inhale. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs> but got your back, Jack. Bitches be crazy. So it's like we know what it is. Like, why do we ask these questions when we know the answers? You know, Donald Trump is getting away mm. with what he's getting away with because of old white male entitlement. The age-old white privilege that's been going on in America since the beginning of time. Okay.
Look, everybody, I know we all feel our hands are tied, but the fact is, we can do something about this. You have the courage to speak the truth, to do what is right, and to fight for what you believe, and keep doing it. Damn bird.